It is a big day in federal courtroom in downtown Austin this morning. Yeah, the Travis County District Judge who was attacked right outside of her own home is expected to testify today against the man who is accused of planning the entire thing. Kate White is live with the details. Kate. Good morning. Yeah, Judge Julie Kasurik expected to testify again. Shamini Oninieri later on this morning. She is the final person the prosecution is expected to call as we head into day 15 of this trial. Now, Oninieri is facing federal charges accused of trying to uh, kill Judge Kasurik outside of her home when he thought she was going to sentence him to time behind bars for a drug offense. Yesterday, the two co conspirators in this case took this stand and testified that they knew about the plot to kill Judge Kasurik but did nothing to stop that. Our Brittany Glass has been inside the courtroom pretty much every day of this trial. And with the judge taking the stand today, what are we expecting? Well, you know, I think that's what everyone is curious about. She's been here inside the courtroom listening to all the proceedings since day one. She is expected to be the star witness for the government. You know, she lived through it all. So hearing what she has to say is going to be just a strong emotional way to end the prosecution's argument. And Shamini Oninieri, you said you've been watching him closely as well during this trial. We definitely have, and it's interesting because he is actively involved in the proceedings. He's taking notes. He's talking with his attorneys during the arguments while people are on the stand. And it'll be interesting to see how the defense moves forward with their case likely next week. And you were saying you had to get here early because Judge Kasurik has a lot of supporters that are going to be here. That's exactly right. You know, the first week it was standing room only in that courtroom. The room was filled with Judge Kasurik's family supporters, and I expect today that those supporters will be back in the courtroom by her side to hear what she has to say and to really support her in what is likely to be an emotional testimony. No doubt. And of course, Brittany will follow you on Twitter throughout the day. You've been live tweeting inside the courtroom. Thank you so much. And of course, your reports at 5 and 6 o'clock tonight. Also, guys, the fence is supposed to start taking up their side of the case beginning next week, and we'll stay on top of that as well.